Okay, but Ravenna is now in labor. Oh, we can also hire a nanny. Oh, they don't have phones back then. Well, whatever. Pretend she's not actually calling to hire. Pretend the castle is just full of servants. and welcome back to another episode of the history of Windenburg. Today we are going to be doing more of our reenactments of our first king and queen of Windenburg. I do feel like I should remind you guys that this is a reenactment of things that have already happened because people were suggesting some other things in the story that would kind of change the family tree and we can make like tiny tiny changes to the family tree and we'll talk about that later but I can't make any major changes like having one of them not have kids when they did have kids. If you missed it or if you forgot, I'm doing the reenactment because when I started my Royal Family series on my channel, I was like five generations in already. And people were just very curious about Queen Ravenna because she was a vampire queen. The only reason she was a vampire was because the vampire pack came out and I was like, this would be fun to play with. So I'm playing through until Queen Ravenna dies because I kind of forgot what happened and I wanted to do the short machinima summarizing what had happened with like our history of Windenburg and everything. So since I forgot what happened, I was like, okay, I need to replay this. So that's what we're doing. Now in the last episode, I had mentioned that Ravenna, well, first of all, Ravenna and Henry, they got married in the last episode and Ravenna became queen. And then in the last episode, I had mentioned that the descendants of our royal family of Windenburg, they were from Ravenna and a man named Arthur. They were not from Henry. And I told you guys you would find out who Arthur was in this episode, but I actually forgot that Ravenna and Henry did have two girls. So this is extremely similar if you're familiar with Anne Boleyn and King Henry VIII with what happened there, how Anne gave him a daughter, but he wanted sons. So that's pretty much the same thing that's happening here. So we have to switch it up a bit from what I mentioned in the last episode. I will talk about Arthur a little bit later because I did promise you guys we'll find out who he is. So I will mention who he is and then I have like a few story stuff I'm playing around with with what could have happened. So I'll let you know what those are and you guys can give me your opinions in the comments below. But first, so this is gonna take place, we'll say like a year and a half later, and they've been trying for a kid for a while. So Ravenna is pregnant. She is in her third trimester right now, I believe. Where is she? I'm so not used to this kind of layout of a castle, so it's kind of hard for me to get used to, but Ravenna is pregnant. I think, yeah, I think she's in her third trimester, so she should be having her baby fairly soon. As you guys already know, because I just told you, it's going to be a girl. Now, I had mentioned this, I think I had mentioned this in one of the earlier episodes of this series that Reve oh, let me turn on autonomy so they'll actually like do stuff and not just stand there as I talk. I am actually going to have, well, I don't want like Henry to walk in on her practicing her vampire lore stuff. Should she go to, no, let's stay in the palace. She's about to have her baby. Um, well, okay, I'll just let her do whatever. But I had mentioned before that I made a 60 facts and secrets about my royal family. I'll link that in the description below if you didn't get a chance to see it. But I had said that Ravenna, ha again, okay, this is a little bit um, dark and violent, but I had mentioned that Ravenna had a daughter named Reyna who was a vampire. And since Ravenna doesn't want anyone to know she's a vampire because she's scared people would like turn against her and try to kill her for being a vampire. And she didn't want to get found out. So when her daughter was a baby and was showing like signs of having vampire powers, I guess that's the best way to put it. But she got scared. So she used her powers to kill her daughter and made it look like she died from a disease or something like that. We can say, I don't like a disease, I don't know what I said. I think I said a disease. But the thing is, when I played back then, I didn't actually have MC Command Center. So in like story-wise, I would say that happened. In The Sims though, you need MC Command Center for like a, a child to die. I said that because I didn't remember how she died. It was probably sunlight or something like that. I do remember though that it was Ravenna that had done that. 
I hope you guys are following. We're gonna play through it so you guys will find out anyway. I'm just like letting you guys know what's going to come in the future for the story. Okay, but that was Reyna. And then so she's going to be, she's gonna be the second born. The first child that's born, the daughter, I actually don't remember her name. It wasn't showing up on the family tree. The first family tree that I showed, it did show that Ravenna had six kids, but I don't think I actually showed you guys the names of those kids. I knew that one of her daughters was named Reyna though. But but when I actually show you guys like the names of all the kids in the family tree later, I can also link that video below. It was like the first in depth showing of my family tree, but it only showed three of the kids. It showed her kids with Arthur, which was Henry, which turns out to be King Henry II, and Belle and Derek. And they actually had a fourth kid, her and Arthur, but we'll figure that all out later. She's gonna have two kids in this episode. It's going to be the two daughters with Henry. Since I don't remember the first daughter's name, why don't we just go with like Eliz- Well, I mean, the baby's not even born yet, but why don't we go with Elizabeth? Because that's such a common name for the royal family to name their daughters. But yeah, I'll do that when she has the baby. We probably won't see Vlad for a while. I mean, she knows she's supposed to have kids and part of her plan, well, part of the plan is Arthur. And I'll, I'll just let you guys know a little bit about Arthur, but it's a man that they had to hire who looked like Henry because she did want to produce a son, but I, had an idea that I saw later on, and this didn't actually happen in the story, but we again can make like a few changes. Maybe Arthur and Henry are brothers because they do look very, very similar, but maybe they're brothers and maybe Arthur agrees to help because he wanted to be king. Of course though, Henry became king by leading an army to take over this land and that's how he became king. But maybe there was some ongoing sibling rivalry their whole life. Maybe his brother was like leading, I don't know, the other army and they just weren't as successful or something like that. So you guys can let me know what you think about that because I don't mind changing the story to that because Henry and Arthur weren't brothers originally. But we can make them brothers, I don't mind. Okay, but Ravenna is now in labor. Okay, have baby. So she's going to have their first child, their first daughter. I, if you don't know, I'm using MC Command Center to determine like the baby's gender and everything. And the thing is too, so her baby Reyna was definitely a vampire. There's a possibility this baby was also a vampire. I can't recall, but maybe she like doesn't show her vampire powers till like much later in life. Whereas with Reyna, they could tell she was a vampire when she was a baby. Okay, so yes, it's a baby girl. No surprise there, we knew that. Uh, since Elizabeth isn't going to fit with princess. Maybe I'll go with Eliza, but her full name would be Elizabeth. Again, this wasn't actually her first name. I don't remember what the first daughter's name was, but this would be a realistic choice. So let's do this. Oh, we should also hire a nanny. Oh, they don't have phones back then. Well, whatever. Okay, hire a service. Uh, we should hire like a butler. So let's just hire a butler. Okay, pretend she's not actually calling to hire. Pretend the castle is just full of servants. But since I do want her to have her other kid too, I think we're actually just gonna like age up this baby. So so we're not really going into detail with these families as much as I go into detail with my royal family series. It's going to be very much like, okay, you had a kid, name the kid, this is what happened. All right, next kid, that kind of thing. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fast forward things. We're gonna age up the baby. We're, we can like pick her outfits and stuff too. Let's just do that now actually. So age up, okay, yes, there we go, all right. Uh, uh, pick a trait, um, independent. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm going to change her outfit and create a sim. Okay, so this is Princess Elizabeth. She's so cute. She actually didn't turn out as a vampire. I, I don't know if we wanna keep it that way. I mean, there was a reason that she was killed later on. I di she died like, either as a, I think she died as a teenager. But yeah, she's not a vampire. I could maybe make her a vampire later and we'll say that it just, I don't know. I don't know how this stuff works. I know like every story is different and people kind of create their own rules for vampire stuff, but sometimes there's like a kind of universal set of things that are known about vampires, but people are always changing it for their story and making it their own thing. I'll think about it. I'm sorry, I'm just kind of thinking out loud. Hopefully that's not too confusing, but I'm glad she came out with her black hair because I remember that 
both girls from Henry and Ravenna, they both had black hair. And I think this outfit is probably not from the same time period, but I thought it was the best one. Um, I played around with a few of the other outfits. Not sure how I feel about this, but I didn't want to give her some outfits that I give to the toddlers from my Royal Family series, just cause like they would have been completely different styles. The other outfits are just like, random kind of, so I didn't even pick that one. That was already randomly generated. But yeah, this is a Princess Eliza. All right, so they had their baby. I do have a toddler preset mod that I use in my Royal Family series, but this is supposed to take, like, I mean, we aged her up in the game, but she's supposed to be like two now, and then they will try for another baby. They were already kind of having trouble having a kid. So I feel like in between the two girls, I would say like, I don't know. I feel like Henry would have wanted to start trying right away so he could have a son, but let's have them have a baby. Another one, let's try for a baby. But yeah, so if you see, because where I remembered and saw that Ravenna had six kids was season one, episode two of my Royal Family series. And it showed that she had six kids. And it does show that Reyna was grown up on the family tree when she died. However, there is a family tree being made. One of my mods asked, she's been working on it for so long. She's so sweet to do this. So she did put on there that Reyna died as a baby. So yeah, those are like the little changes we can make in this reenactment. It doesn't even have a try for baby option. It just has a risky woohoo option. I mean, that's fine, we can do that. Okay, they're done, they're sleeping. Let's see, Ravenna, MC. Oh, I could probably just have her take a pregnancy. Oh, she's pregnant, okay. And she's having a girl, so perfect. This is perfect. So this is going to be the future baby Reyna. I can fast forward so she has her in this episode. And then I'll, I'll wait to do the, uh, killing thing with MC Command Center in the next episode. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Princess Elizabeth. Uh, I, I can't imagine that Ravenna would spend that much time with the kids, like her and Henry. I mean, that's realistic though. Like the kings and queens, they barely spend time with the kids and it's always the nannies or governesses that spend time with them and that raise them. Like even Queen Elizabeth, the current queen of England, she barely spent time with mostly Charles and Anne, her first two kids. She barely spent time with them. I saw this thing where her and her husband, Philip, they were on a tour for like eight months, I think. It was a long time that they didn't see their kids for. And then there's this video showing them greeting Charles and Anne when they got back with like a handshake, like not a hug or anything like that. I was like, that's interesting. So I imagine it would be the same thing with Ravenna and Henry too. But okay, so she's pregnant. Do we wanna speed up this pregnancy? So she has Raina now, and then we'll do the the dark thing in the next episode. I feel so bad, but like she died, I sh she died anyway. Okay, so I just set it to where Ravenna is in labor. So we're going to, yes, have the baby. And I promise that we will see Arthur in the next episode. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you think we should make Arthur Henry's brother because that would be a cool twist to have. Okay, so their baby girl, Princess Reyna is here. Um, I have custom content skin tones on Ravenna and Henry, I believe both of them. So that's why the baby skin tone doesn't always match. But we're gonna say Reyna is a vampire. We're gonna do the thing in the next episode. But you guys got to see our very first princesses, Reyna and Henry's very, aw, Henry's actually spending time with Elizabeth. But yeah, you guys got to see them and we'll continue the story in the next episode. But we are gonna go ahead and end this episode here. So let me know what you guys think of everything. I know that I think out loud. I just kind of throw my thoughts at you guys. So hopefully that's okay. Let me know what you think about Arthur, who we'll meet in the next episode, I promise. I know I said that last episode, but we will in the next episode. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!